Digs in deep, sucks it up. And gets it! Well, right hand has destroyed Groves. It's waved up already. Charlie Pierce saw it up. What a shot! You will not see a more explosive finish than that. Now, the stoppage of this fight. The uppercut from the Mew, yes, he's known as a left hook artist for the most part, but he's got some power in the right hand, both in his straight right and that uppercut. We'll take another look at it. So, Lemieux's not a one-trick pony. He, he's not a, a one-dimensional attacker. See, he gives you the hook, but he's looking for anything that will land, and there's the beautiful uppercut on the inside. He is an exciting fighter to watch, a 25-year-old who knows how to get the job done and knows how to finish. And, with the length and size and power oh. that Klitschko has, and there he goes. Big thudding blow from Vladimir Klitschko. One minute, 10 seconds, an eternity for a fighter that's been hurt and is in front of a guy that so far he's had no ability to get close to. Second knockdown of the round. Leopai absolutely pummeled and hopeless here. Talk to you again until after the fight. And there, uh, a strike right here to, to fall down. So He's clearly only been down once. You know, prior. And I think the temple shot to the left had made. I'll say this. Uh, here's a right hand by Wilder who had been knocked out with without much effort from Wilder. Malik Scott among them. Gavin's a legit the win. He is the mandatory challenger for the WBC heavyweight champion Berman Stavern. Good work by Adrian Broner. And the crowd here loving every second of it. 20 seconds left. Uppercut. Wow! How about that? Beautiful. Those shots have anything on them. All they're meant to do is force, force Taylor to go defensive. Once he goes defensive, Broner sits on that last shot and, and hurts him. The upper of the moment in front of this very large crowd after he... Jab Linares waiting for it. I would would have been better off not throwing any punches. He would have lasted a lot longer in this fight, I'll tell you. Take another look at the knockdown in extreme slow-mo. And why did he get knocked out? Well, for one reason, I would jabbed and as he brought the jab back, he brought it down. Instead of bringing it back to where he threw it from. This is round seven, and there it is. Yeah, good liver up. shot. Yeah, he set it up first with a jab. And just like that, it was over, and, and referee Russell Morris starts to count, but then he realizes. 
Look at the agony. You don't get that kind of agony from a shot in no, the jaw or the not head. at all. Only a body shot will do that to you. It's not lost on Ponce de Leon. He says, win by KO or lose by KO. Ooh, both guys land. Oh, good left hook that dropped Wanma. Oh, then he drops it. A right hook by Wanma. Watch the legs of Ponce de Leon. Here comes Wanma. And he drops him again. What a turn of events here in the second round. Wanma on the attack again. Ponce thin down twice, and that's it. What a second round. Wanma goes down, and then he drops Ponce de Leon twice. This is a rebirth for Wanma Lopez, and what brought him back six years ago against this same fighter. <laughs> And for the gladiator, John Molina, he can dig himself out of the deepest holes with one single punch. Oh, the right hand by Molina. Matisse absorbed it. And now Tisse goes down! We've got a junior welterweight scrap for the ages unfolding before us here. Oh, and down! A blood and guts battle thus far here. And Molina there! Pulverizing shots by Matisse. Molina, unbelievable in the amount of punishment that he can absorb. And down goes Molina! And very impressive. But Matisse was the strong one. Just like they Again, the right hand over the slow left hand of Ariola. It's one thing to throw the punch out. It's another thing to develop the habit. Last look before Jack Reese had to say that he has seen enough. Ariola coming forward. The Burns doing a good job of actually counterpunching there, taking what's given him as Ariola's head fell forward. Beware! Вернуться в бой. Но ему очень тяжело. Попадает, Снова, попадает прям, правый. Прямой. Правый прямой. Точно в цель. Такое ощущение, что Ферат не привык или вообще не видит, что ему руку опускает э, левую, через которую бьет э, Марко Ху. Так он вообще, по-моему, не понимает, откуда удар прилетает. А Марко быстро накрывает передней рукой и бьет прямой. И снова правый. прямой прямой. Да, мне кажется, сейчас бой будет остановлен. Ох, 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 вот это положение. Рефери на готове. Все. Все, бой окончен. What an amazing comeback knockout for Andy Lee. But Pulev believes, obviously, early in this fight is what he has to do. And a left hook lands for Klitschko, and down goes Pulev. That was a solid left hook, which delivered exactly the same result as a lot of other Klitschko left hooks. And now there are two knockdowns. Both guys boxing, and one guy able to land that kind of shot. A left will. hook and a push, and Pulev is down for the third time. Yes, Pulev. Down goes Pulev on another left hook. May be the one from which he does not get up. He's done. And it's a fifth round KO win. 
for Vladimir Klitschko.